everyone and welcome back to next stage designs in today's video i'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful hooded scarf with a pocket I will be using this beautiful and very soft tweed aran yarn but you can use any yarn you like or prefer I used for my hooded scarf 700 grams of this yarn also you will need a pair of scissors and I will be using five millimeters hook you will need a stitch marker a yarn needle few clips if you don't have them you can use the bags and also a tape measure and later on you may need some pins so for our scarf i will chain 28 plus 3 but if you want your scarf wider than that then you will chain any multiple of 4 plus so we are going to start with a slip knot hold your yarn and like so wrap it around your two fingers and create a cross go under this first one on top of the second one pull it down and twist your hook and release and i'm going to chain 28 and then i will add three more or any multiple of four plus three yarn over and pull through the loop you had on your hook so that's one two three four and when i say multiple of four i mean four eight and so on so i have four and again i will add four more one two three and four and so on so multiple of four plus three so i will chain 28 and then i show you what to do next i have 28 chains and i am going to add three more so one two and three now we are going to work double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook so we are not counting this one one two three and into this fourth one here you will work double crochet to do double crochet you are going to yarn over insert like so yarn over bring it up three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two and that's how you are going to work all the way across placing your double crochet in every chain so continue all the way across placing double crochet in every chain i am finishing this row one and i have my last double crochet right here and i am going to chain one because the next row will be bubble stitch row so every time you start your bubble stitch row you will chain one okay so next we are going to place one single crochet in the next two stitches so we don't work into this one we will place one single crochet here and one single crochet here so place one single crochet here and one single crochet here and now we are ready to work our first bubble into this third stitch right here first bubble stitch will be right here and we are going to yarn over insert bring it up yarn over and pull through two so it's like double crochet but you won't finish it and we are going to do so all together five times 
So yarn over into the same stitch and pull through two. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. And we should have one, two, three, four, five, six loops on the hook. Now you are going to yarn over, twist your hook down like this because we need to go through all these loops. And when you twist your hook like this, it will be much more secured. So twist your hook and pull through all the loops like so and now we are going to place your single crochet into the next stitch like so okay and that's your first bubble stitch and this is the wrong side okay and after every bubble you will place three single crochet so we already done this one to secure our bubble and we need to place two more so one and two so we have all together three as you can see here this is our bubble and then we have one two and three stitches so after every bubble you will place three single crochet one single crochet in the next three stitches once you have placed your one two three single crochet or one single crochet in the next three stitches we are ready to do another bubble and that's how we are going to repeat it all the way across so i am going to show you one more time yarn over insert bring it up and pull through first two loops like so so it's like unfinished double crochet and you are going to do so all together five times so we have one two three four and five but we have six loops on the hook yarn over and pull through and now into the next one two three you will place one single crochet so one into the next one one and into the next one as i said after each bubble you will always place one single crochet in the next three stitches and then you will do bubble into the next so you will work like this all the way across for this row too and then i show you how to finish this row right here i am finishing this row too and as you can see i have two stitches left but then i have this chain of two right here so it's like three stitches so i will place a bubble for this row right here so i have done it five times and then i have six loops on my hook yarn over and pull through like so and then i will place one single crochet here after this bubble and then one single crochet on top of this chain of two this may be a little bit trickier but just try to squeeze your hook like this and place single crochet okie dokie so this is our row two finished and we started with two single crochet at the start and we are going to end up with two single crochet at the end okay so now we are ready to start row three after each row when you have row of bubble stitch you will chain two one and two and turn your work so once you finish your bubble row you will work always one row with double crochet only i will show you so for row three you will place only double crochet in every stitch 
across okay and this chain of two is counting as your first so we don't work into this stitch here do not work into that one and you will place double crochet into next one here so place double crochet here like so and then you will see that's one stitch here that's your bubble so you will have this longer stitch here you will place one double on top like so and then you will place one two three double into this next three stitches so one two and three like so you can see all these stitches really well when you look from the top so there will be always one stitch on top of this bubble and then there will be one two three between and then again that's a bubble big stitch and then one two three between and again one stitch on top of the bubble it's slightly bigger so you will simply place double crochet like so all the way across as you can see before the bubble is always the smaller one and then the bubble one is a little bit bigger so you will place double crochet for this row three all the way across and once you come to the end i show you what to do next i am finishing this row three and when you look from the top you should have one and two stitches left so place double crochet in those one and two like this and the next row will be again a bubble stitch row. and now i'm going to chain one and turn my work and the reason why i chain one as i said before is because the next row will be row with the bubbles always chain one before you start the row with the bubbles but this time we are going to move these bubbles slightly so the bubbles are nicely between as we don't want them in the row for this pattern so as we did before we place one single crochet in the next two stitches but this time we are going to place one single crochet in the next four stitches so let's start a row four so i am going to place one single crochet one single crochet one single crochet one single crochet so one single crochet in the next four stitches and into the fifth one we can start our bubble so do not count this one here that's our chain one so you will place one single crochet into the next one two into the next one three and into the next one four okay and now we can work our bubble again so you will work into this fifth one and we already know how to do the bubble one two three four and five And into the next you will do single crochet and of course as always it will be the, it will be exactly the same as before after each bubble you will place one single crochet in the next three stitches so this is your bubble this is your bubble and then you have let me just do it like this because 
so you can see better so this is your bubble and then you placed single crochet to close the bubble so one two and three and into the next one you will do bubble so this will stay exactly the same so and also for this row four when you start with four you will also end up with four single crochet and i'm going to show you how to finish this row four and that's how you're always going to finish so after you bubble you place three single crochet and you will do bubble again one two three four and five and then you will do one two and three single crochet and your bubble in the next one so you will repeat it like this for this row four and then i show you how to finish it i'm finishing this row with bubbles and i will do my last bubble here one two three four and five And as I said before, we started with four single crochet at the start and we are going to finish with four single crochet at the end. So I will place one, two, three, and the last one will be on top of this chain of two. So this one may be always the trickiest one. Just try to squeeze your hook through those chains. And this is your row four completed, as you can see. You can see these bubbles are sitting nicely between these bubbles. And the reason for it is because we started with four and finished with four. So now we want these bubbles to be between these. So we will do a row of double crochet and the next row we will start with two single crochet and end up with two single crochet at the end and that's how you are going to repeat so don't forget after each row when you complete the row with the bubbles you will work the row with double crochet so as my next one will be row with double crochet for row five I will place one double crochet in every stitch and we do not work into this one here because this chain of two is counting as your first double crochet so you will place double crochet into this one here so double crochet in here so into this one here and then as you can see there is a tiny one and a big one and then we have three between so you will simply place double crochet in every stitch like this all the way across so complete this row and then i show you what to do next I'm finishing this row five and I will simply finish it with double crochet like this and into this last one here and you can see already so my next row will be the row with the bubbles but we will start with two single crochet first then we will do bubble then three single crochet between bubble three single crochet bubble and so on and we will finish with two single crochet at the end the next row will be again a row of double crochet and then the next row will be you will start for single crochet your bubbles three stitches between your bubbles and you will finish with four single crochet.
you will continue like this working on your scarf and then you are going to create the hoodie and you will work like this until your scarf is 190 centimeters long or 75 inches and the width is if you want in measurements about nine inches and i have just finished and cut my yarn so i'm going to show you how to fasten off so i have chain one and i'm going to fasten off like this my scarf and make sure you will finish your scarf with a row of double crochet like this so once you have your scarf put it aside and then you are going to create the hood for the hood you will work exactly the same as you did on your scarf but your starting chain will be 72 plus 3 and of course you will start exactly the same into the fourth chain from the hook you will do double crochet and all the way across as we did on our scarf so the hood is about 12 and a half inch and the width is 23 inches or 59 centimeters also make sure you will finish with the row of double crochet once you are done with your hood you should have a big rectangle like this now what we are going to do next before we fasten off we are going to leave a long yarn and because we need to sew our hood later on so leave about 50 centimeters 50 to 70 centimeters long yarn end and put it aside and of course don't forget to fasten off i forgot to show you so simply just chain one and pull that long yarn and through like this oops that's my light and fasten off and put it aside so we have a hood and the scarf prepared next we are going to prepare two pockets next we are going to prepare two simple pockets so i only done single crochet back loop only sure so i have one and i will need one more so i'm going to show you how to create these pockets so for the pockets we are going to start with the slip knot And we already know how to do the slip knot. And for these pockets, I'm going to chain 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So once you have 21, you are going to place your single crochet into this stitch here. So we're skipping this one. We do not count the one on the hook. And you will place your single crochet like so and into the next one and so on so you will place one single crochet in every stitch across like this continue until you get to your last stitch here I have last stitch here and I will place my last single crochet, chain one and turn your work for row two and from now on you will do always the same. You will work single crochet but only into this back loop. So this is your front loop and back loop and we do not work into this one, we will work into this one here so insert like so and work your single crochet into those back loops and this will create 
a beautiful ribbing. And you will work like this all the way across. And once you come to your last stitch, I show you how to finish this row too. I have only two stitches left and I will do a single crochet back loop only here. But always in the last stitch, I like to go under the both loops. So you will have front and back like this. And this way it will be much nicer and stronger. Chain one and turn your work. And again, so that's how you are going to work on your pocket. Working single crochet back loop only. And once you come to your last stitch, you will go under the both loops, front and back. Last stitch will be full stitch again. Chain one and turn your work, and you can see already this beautiful ribbing. And you will continue working like this on your pocket until you have five and a half inch. I am finishing my pocket and for your pocket you should have 20 rows. To count your rows they go like this as you can see. So this means when they go like this there are two rows. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 and 20. And when you have 20 rows, you are going to chain one and you are going to turn your work like this. And we want this pocket to be nice and strong at the top. So we are going to place slip stitches all the way across, but you are going to work under the full stitch. So front and back loop. So insert your hook into this first one here, like so. Yarn over and pull through the loop you had on your hook. And this is your first slip stitch. So work into the next one, next stitch, and work your slip stitch. And you will work like this all the way across to finish your pocket. And slip stitch will make your pocket nice and strong and it will give it nice finish as well. Last two and into this last one here. Do last slip stitch, chain one and leave this end longer, about, I would say about, about 60 centimeters. So we can sew these pockets on our scarf. So I chained one and I'm going to fasten off like this. You will need two the same pockets. Next you will need two stitch markers. Bring your scarf and your hood. First you are going to fold your scarf in half like this and make sure it's nicely together so my right side is inside and I am going to place my stitch marker on the fold like this. So I know this is my middle. And we will do exactly the same on the hood. So now you will bring your hood and you fold it in half like this. And you will place a stitch marker on your fold. 
So you will open your scarf and you have your stitch marker here and then you will open your hood and you will place these two stitch markers together like this. Now you are going to take your hood and you will do something like this. So the right sides are together and we will be sewing. So if you have these clips, they are very handy. So your hood and your scarf will hold nicely together. So you will place one in the middle and one like this and one on the other side. like so so when you open it you will hit your hood but we are going to sew so from here all the way down to the other side next we are going to sew so prepare your yarn needle and your yarn and we are going to start right here where is this first corner so i am going to so like this and i'm going to create a knot and leave this longer because you will need to hide it later on and to sew of course you can use the way you prefer or like so i like to sew like this i put my finger between these layers and then i go on the opposite side but before i do so i like to do one I like to do two to three stitches in one place like this as you can see and this way it will be much stronger and now we are ready to sew so I like to go from the inside like this then from the inside like so and again from the inside and from the inside so you will sew all the way to the other side and once you are on this side here i show you how to finish it so continue sewing like so and make sure your right sides are together i am finishing on this side and as i said before you come to this corner you will do again two to three stitches in one place like this like so and then you will fasten off like this and of course while you can you can hide this and in the seam so let's so you will have less work to do later on like so and now you can cut the yarn and of course you will need to hide this end and all the ends and as you can see the seam is looking amazing so when we open it's looking beautiful Next, we are going to close the top of our hood like this. So remember, we had this long yarn end. So we are going to fold our scarf like this. So the right sides are together, of course, like so. so this is my scarf and this is the hood or i can turn it this way so i turn it this way so we can see better so simply just 
fold it like this and this is the scarf right here so we can just fold this so it's not in the way and this is your hood and we are going to sew from here to here and again bring your clips because they're very handy so when you sew it will not move as much like this and now we are ready to thread this end and we are going to sew it exactly the same way and remember find the corner here and do two three stitches in one place like this and make sure these corners are exactly on top of each other because we want the hood to be nice in line when you open it i just show you in a minute so when you open you want this to be nice and straight okay so once you have two three stitches in one place now we are ready to sew exactly the same way as we did when we were attaching the hood to our scarf like so so i like to put my finger between and go from the inside like so and you will go all the way down until you get right here i am finishing my hood and i have few stitches here And of course, if you don't want it, um, if if you don't want this corner to be so sharp, you can just go and sew like around here, like this. So you can just cut this corner like so when you sew it, so it will have a round look, not too sharp. And then I will do two, three stitches here, like this. Oopsie daisy, there you go. And hide it in the seam, so we don't need to do it later on. And you will hide all your ends like this as good as you can and this is your hoodie so when you turn it like this the seam is on top and it's looking amazing so so far we have the hoodie attached like this and the next step we will sew our pockets i am going to show you only on one side and then you will do exactly the same on the other side make sure you have your scarf the right way so of course this is obvious because this is your wrong side this is your right side next you will need some pins so we will be placing our pockets like so and remember we left the long yarn end and i already prepared my needle so this is the top of my pocket because there is the slip stitching we created this scarf is a very long it goes from knee around my neck to my other side so from knee to knee but you can make it even longer if you like so i will be placing pockets like this and my pockets will be from the bottom about five and a half inch like this and from the sides 
simply just try your best and place it about two inches from one side and two inches from the other side. Now take your pins and place as many as you can. It may be difficult to stay in the place so the pins may come out but if you put many it may help a little bit because the pocket may be moving a lot as you saw so just try your best and place the pins like this you can hide this inside the pocket as you saw or with your yarn needle in the seam so let's sew the pocket this may be a little bit trickier to see so i'm going to explain first so when we start i will do two three stitches here and two three stitches in this corner so i will start here i will go all the way down here here and up and i will finish with two three stitches here because when you put your hand inside and outside a lot we want these places to be nice and strong so let's just do it may be a little bit trickier because there is a bubble so not to worry just try to find the closest place like this so you can do two three stitches i will do two maybe enough okay and then i will just simply go like this so i will go through the pocket all the way up and push it like this with my nail and do a simple stitch like so about half centimeter long and maybe half of the centimeter from the edge like this you can go even closer to edge it's up to you and you will go across the bubble like so and make sure you will go through the pocket and the scarf so you will work like this all the way to this corner And then you will continue here and all the way up. And I am finishing here and I will do two, three stitches in one place like this. And one more to make it nice and strong like this and you will simply fasten off like so and you will hide it inside the pocket like this in the seam And then again inside. Take the pins out. And this is your pocket. So, and you will do exactly the same on the other side. And for the last part, I'm going to show you how to place the tassels. If you want the tassels, of course, this part is optional. If you want the tassels, you will place them. If not, 
that's absolutely fine as well so for the tassels you will need to measure how long you want your tassels to be and then double the length so for me for example i want my tassels to be seven inches long but i will need to measure double so i will need to measure 14 because then we are going to fold it in half i will do three lengths like this 14 inches and once you fold it in half this is the length of your tassel so for my scarf i will do five in one side and five on the other side prepare your tassels like this on each side and also if you want you can place more tassels or they can be much thicker it's up to you before we place the tassels i am going to hide this yarn and first I will place five so I will place one here one here and one in the middle first and then two between in your tassel like this and fold it in half like so insert the hook in this corner here place the tassels like so all the loops on the hook like so pull through like this and create this big loop like so and bring all these ends through the loop and that's your first tassel now i'm going to show you one more time on this side again your tassel fold it in half find the corner Place all these loops on your hook, pull through, big loop, and bring all these ends through, like so. Now I'm going to place one in the middle and two between. And these are our tassels now once you have your tassels like this try to straighten them and we are going to cut them so the length is exactly the same And of course if you want you can make them shorter it's up to you and also if you like you can make tiny knots at the end like this so it's up to you let me just straighten them more and these are our beautiful tassels and of course you will do exactly the same on the other side and this is it this is our beautiful super unique bubble stitch hooded scarf with the pockets i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like it share it and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel unique stitch designs for more ideas from me sylvia and one more thing please find me on social medias i am on pinterest instagram facebook group also on tiktok so don't forget to search for me thank you very much for watching